Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. On Monday, the government of Meghalaya reappointed R.M. Kurba as a Deputy Commissioner or DC of East Khasi Hills District following her transfer from her current position as Secretary to the Government of Meghalaya, Community and Rural Development. With Kurba's appointment, S.C. Sadhu, who was the DC of East Khasi Hills District, will become Secretary to the Government of Meghalaya, Community and Rural Development Department, Fisheries Department, Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Department and Water Resources Department as well as Director of Community and and rural development. The first session of the 18th Lok Sabha began on Monday with newly elected MPs taking their oaths as members of the House. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the Lok Sabha's leader, was the first to take the oath as a member. Pro Tem Speaker Batruhari Mahatab administered the oath to the Prime Minister. This was followed by the oath of the panel of chairpersons assigned to assist Pro Tem Speaker Mahatab is running the Lok Sabha's proceeding till the Speaker is elected. A Pro Tem Speaker serves as a Speaker until the permanent Speaker is appointed. Pointed. J.P. Nadda, the BJP's national president and union health minister, has been appointed leader of the Rajya Sabha. Nadda succeeds union minister Piyush Goyal, who was elected to the Lok Sabha from Mumbai North and took his oath of office on Monday. Nadda's term as BJP national president ends this month, but he may continue until the four state elections later this year when a new president is elected. On Monday, thousands of Kukizo tribal protesters marched through the streets of Lamka in Manipur's Surachanpur district, calling for a political solution to the state's year-long ethnic violence. The Indigenous Tribal Leaders Forum, ITLF, organized the rally, which demanded that the central government expedite the process of finding a political solution to the violence in Manipur. The protesters also sought the establishment of a union territory with a legislature under Article 239A of the Constitution. In a combined operation undertaken by the Assam Rifles and Manipur Police in Manipur's Thaubal district, a huge cache of arms and ammunition as well as warlike items was discovered according to an official statement from the Assam Rifles. According to the official statement, the operation recovered one 12-bore single-barrel gun, one 12-bore bolt action rifle, one 9mm CMG, ammo and grenades. India has embarked on a historic move by launching its first underground coal gasification or UCG pilot project at the Kasta Coal Block in Jharkhand's Jamtara district. This project, led by Eastern Coal Fields Limited under the Ministry of Coal, marks a significant step forward in the transformation of the coal industry. UCG is the process of turning coal into useful gases such as methane, hydrogen and carbon monoxide via in situ gasification, which allows access to previously inaccessible coal resources. This invention not only improves economic viability, but it also supports sustainable energy practices by maximizing resource utilization. Cricket enthusiasts from the Northeast have an extra reason to celebrate as Riyan Parak, a native of Guwahati, has been selected for the upcoming T20 International Series in Zimbabwe. The series is scheduled to begin on July 6, 2024. With this achievement, Riyan Parak becomes the first male cricketer from the Northeast to be selected for the national team. This was disclosed by the BCCI in an official announcement on Monday when it announced the T20 squad for the Zimbabwe T20 Series. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mithela. Hub Podcast.